and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Well, South Australia is welcoming a steady stream of fully vaxxed visitors by road and air after the borders reopened. The Entry Check SA website has processed 43,000 applications in the past few days. It says debate over COVID testing continues in Queensland with Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk saying it is up to the federal government to make the PCR test more affordable through a Medicare rebate. The tests are a whopping $150 per person. Now, police in Victoria are interviewing a man in relation to the bizarre disappearance and suspected murders of two campers. Russell Hill and Carol Clay went missing from their campsite in March last year, with a 55-year-old man now in custody. Police are cracking down on threats being made towards the WA Premier and other government officials after an escalation in violent threats. Two men have been charged for allegedly phoning Mark McGowan on Saturday night and leaving a number of threatening messages. The foster parents of William Tyrrell did not enter a plea when their assault case was mentioned in a Sydney court today. The couple, aged in their 50s, is accused of assaulting a child. The alleged victim is not the missing three-year-old. It's as search continues for the little boy's remains on the New South Wales mid-north coast. Now, independent Jackie Lambie has unleashed on the PM, describing him as the worst in Australian history. Senator Lambie is furious. Scott Morrison has not yet delivered an election promise to establish a federal corruption watchdog. Australian people are looking at you. They're sick of your lies. They're sick of you not putting up. They're sick of you not delivering. You do not deliver. You are finished in the next election. You're gone. I can tell you. And landmark sexual consent laws have passed through New South Wales Parliament. The legislation means people will need to seek clear affirmative consent before having sex. To sport now, and Cricket Tasmania has launched an extraordinary attack on Cricket Australia, claiming the governing body's treatment of Tim Payne has been appalling. Payne was forced to give up the captaincy over an old sexting exchange. And a member of the Giants AFLW squad has tested positive to COVID forcing three other players into isolation. In entertainment news, and Jennifer Lawrence has no problem with co-star Leonardo DiCaprio earning more than her. Leo scored a $5 million pay boost to his back pocket, but she says it makes sense as he brings in more box office. Billie Eilish has lent one of her tunes to the Great Barrier Reef Conservation Campaign, the singer granting permission for ocean eyes to be used in a bid to fight the threat to the reef's coral. And Katy Perry makes sure daughter Daisy starts every day on a positive note. The singer playing Bill Withers' A Lovely Day to her as part of their morning routine. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson.